Good evening, my dear students. It's the second lecture in the topic of financial markets and institutions. The about why study financial markets, and the second was about why study financial institutions. Uh, uh, financial markets uh, could be uh, divided uh, into three main ca categories. The first is uh, stock markets, the second is bond markets, and the third is uh, the foreign exchange markets. Uh, we study financial institutions. In this uh, uh, point, we have uh, covered uh, the uh, performance of uh, central banks, the uh, banks and other financial institutions the financial innovation uh, and uh, managing risk. Uh, 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 those two uh, fields, financial markets and financial institutions, are uh, very rich uh, aspects of uh, finance. Uh, in this uh, lecture, we will uh, 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 review these two uh, uh, elements by uh, key points, and then we will have a workshop. What about the key points? The first key point is financial markets and institutions involve the movement of huge quantities of money besides the effect the profits of businesses however they do not affect the types of goods and services produced in an economy the uh, second point financial market activities affect personal wealth uh, spending decisions by individuals and business firms and the economy's location in the business cycle. The third one, uh, markets in which funds are transferred from those who have excess funds available to those who have a shortage of, of available funds are called financial markets. Uh, uh, in this point, we can distinguish among uh, two uh, parties, uh, those who have excess funds and those who have a shortage of uh, available funds. The first uh, party uh, uh, could be represented by the savers who have excess funds and the second one could be expressed by the investors so uh, market, uh, markets in which funds are transferred from uh, savers to investors are called financial markets. Uh, the fourth point, the price paid for the rental of borrowed funds is commonly referred to as the interest rate. The fifth is uh, about the bond markets. The bond markets are important because they are the markets where interest rates are determined. Uh, the interest rates are determined, uh, determined according to the supply and demand curves. 
typically increasing interest rates discourages corporate investments. The stock market is important because it's the most widely followed financial market. Uh, a rising stock market index due to higher share prices increases people's wealth and as a result may increase their willingness to spend. Besides, it increases the amount of funds that uh, business firms can raise by selling newly issued stock through which is called IPS initial public offers. The price of one country's currencies, currency in terms of another is called the exchange rate. The first rate was the interest rate and it's um, another rate, the exchange rate. Monetary policy uh, is concerned with the level of interest rates and the nation's money supply. Uh, banks are important to the study of money and the economy because they provide a channel for linking those who want to save the savers with, with those who want to invest the investors. Besides, they have been a source of rapid financial innovation that is expanding the alternatives available to those wanting to invest their money. A security is a claim on the, on the issuer's future income. Uh, in the first lecture, I told you that the financial system consists of three main components, the financial markets, the financial institutions, and the financial claims. A security is a financial claim. What about the workshop? That if we uh, cover carefully uh, all of the above mentioned key points we can uh, answer this workshop. Here it, it's a very simple workshop um, to test whether we have uh, covered carefully uh, this topic or not. We can complete uh, uh, these uh, statements financial markets and institutions involve the movement of, let's think about it, financial market activities affect, uh, affect what? Uh, markets in which funds are transferred from those mm, to those are called what? The price paid for the rental of borrowed uh, funds is called what? The bond markets are important because, uh, let's think about this, uh, typically increasing interest rates leads to what? The stock market is important because because of what? A rising stock market index due to higher share price. Let's think about the second part of this statement. The price of one country's currency in terms of another is called which rate? Monetary policy uh, is chiefly concerned with, concerned with what? Uh, banks are important 
to the study of money and the economy because they let's think uh, about these uh, statements in uh, individual workshops and we'll continue with the third lecture thank you so much the last one is is about the definition of security uh, let's think uh, about financial claims it's an important part of the financial system.